Oh my gosh. I should never go to Dollar Tree. Ooh, and it's warm out. I don't know what the temperature is because my camera's hiding the uh, temperature gauge from my... <sighs> bags and bags of stuff. Stuff. Bags and bags of stuff. I got some of these water balloons for the boys. And I picked up this cute little water container. I thought I would use it for something. I'm not sure what. Oh man, bags and bags. Dollar Tree stuff. Oh, and they had the bread. Bread's usually the grocery stores, it's usually the cheapest I think is like two twenty nine. Sometimes it's on sale for one ninety nine. I remember when bread was sixty nine cents a loaf. But at Dollar Tree, they had fresh, fresh bread. And two of the brands that I really well, I got some. Um, it's an Italian uh, bread, soft, dollar twenty five. And then of course, English muffins, which I like with a cup of tea. So I picked that up. I picked up all kinds of stickers. I don't need stickers, but they had really nice ones. What else did I pick up here? Oh my god. Picked up my favorite chocolate. This is usually um, in the drugstore. It's usually like $2.99 or something like that. $25. Not usually cheaper than $1.99, but oh, look at all the stickers I got. Oh, and then I picked up these. I couldn't resist. I could not resist. Little Fairyland. Isn't that adorable? I love this. I could mount it in my car, but it might get in the way. I put it sorry if I put it there. Oh, it's so cute. So they had these new solar sweeties. So I got this one and I got the dragon one for the boys. Isn't that cute? There he goes. Isn't that adorable? So we got the fairyland and the dragons. Oops. I had bought one of these and brought it to my daughter's because the little grandson, the littlest one, loved it. Well, he shook it so much, he broke the string that holds the goodie up. Oh, I got too much stuff. I'll have to show you later. I'll have to show you later. I'll do a video on my haul. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Um, I want to make that soap. And I couldn't really find any um, little toys. I think I did pick up a package of dinosaurs. But anyway, they have this grow and glow zombies. Grow and glow zombies. And the boys are playing uh, plants versus zombies games. And they love it. So apparently... You can put it in water and it'll grow. Oh, and it says here, make it grow again. If you remove it from the water, the zombie will shrink, slowly shrink to its size, and it can be used again and again. And it also glows. To activate the glow feature by exposing your zombie to direct sunlight for a moment. And then if you move it into the dark, well, I can't see here. Anyway, I got those. I got lots of stuff. I'll show you in another video because I have to go. Oh, man. And these stickers I picked up. I am so... Oh. Anyway, I'm excited to show you everything, but I got to get out of here. So... Hopefully, uh, again, I'm overcautious with the backing up. 
simply because of my little bang with that old lady. She pissed me off. She's probably my age, but she looked old. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <sighs> oh well. So guys, I hope this is filming because I, I never know if it's filming or not. Great, thanks a lot, buddy. Very sweet of you to come on, pull up. What an asshole. He's like 10 car lengths away from the car in front of him, which means I can't get in. <sighs> Some people are not nice. Sitting at a red light here. It's kind of some kind of sports car. There we go. Here we go. Off we go. Off we go. Alrighty. So, what else is new? Oh, mom called me. She sounded off today. And I don't know, ever since... I took her to the bingo last night with David, and David, my stepdad, is getting worse. I gotta open some windows here, guys. Um, he's getting worse when it comes to number recognition. Like, you'll see 34, and he'll mark 43, or if he sees 13, he might do 53. Um, it's just all jumbled, and um, mom has good days and bad days, but she got very upset with them. And I told her, and I tell her over and over again, you know, there are only two games that we need to watch his cards because I. We're, we can't put them in the machine. I mean, we have a machine. We can load up all the cards and and I can keep an eye on it so that when they are waiting, I can see what card it is. And I gotta open the window. Maybe a little bit here. There we go. Um, you know, and I keep telling her. So I have to remind her almost every game, don't worry about this, it's in the machine. And then when it's not in the two games that's not in the machine, I'll say, Mom, don't watch, don't worry about your cards, because she likes to dab. Just watch his, make sure he dabs. Well, one of the games he decided to start dabbing all the Bs, all the Gs. And she got upset with them. And, she, and then she, on the way home, I said, you know, I asked her what was the matter. And she said, um, her, it was her ears that are bothered. She had asked me like three or four times what um, what is the doctor going to do about her ears? He can't do anything with about her ears. Like, you know, he can't because she has, her eardrum is like got a billion little holes in it and if she was very young <clears throat> he could, you know, fix it. But because of her age, he's too nervous to put her under because she has to be put to sleep for that. So, and I explained to her a couple of times, and it's still leaking, and she's, she took those antibiotics for two, two for, it doesn't feel like two weeks. It really doesn't. You know. Anyway, it's still not cleared up. Um, we had gone to the hospital for her to be to have a swab done, and they sent it for testing to see which bacteria, it, what bacteria it is, and which antibiotic would work on it. And there was three that we already tried, so we tried, and I think there was six altogether, six different antibiotics. So he tried the strongest one, or the last one, whatever, on the list. She's 
taken to the day. It did not clear up. I didn't look at the pillbox to see if it was uh, refillable. Crap. I don't even know. I don't know. Anyway. So it's not clearing up. She gets a lot of leakage. We, you know, her the hearing aid that she has is one that wraps around the back of the ear. So it has a tube. And I'm wondering if that tube is filling up and reinfecting her all the time. Um, you know, we should bring it in to have it disinfected or cleaned. If I knew how to do it, I would do it. Um, because it's not clearing up. And, <coughs> you know, we all get earwax. We all get a little bit of leakage, a little bit of infection. Like me, I don't, but I, I, I notice because of this cold, I have a little more, um, you know, wax in my ears than usual. And that's normal because, you know, when you have a cold, you're, that's what happens. Anyway, I'm tired of following this moron. Okay, so, um, she was complaining about that. And then I, I, she called me last night. She said she called me last night. I don't remember what time she called. She said 9.30. Actually, I think it was 7.30. And she sounds off today. Like, really off. So I told her, you know, she called me. I was in Dollar Tree. And I said, Mom, I'll call you right back. So I came out to the car, started it up, got the Bluetooth running, called her back. Where were you last night? I called. I said, well, Mom, I was home. I said, well, maybe I was out with the dog. And I don't always check my phone. After 9 o'clock, I don't bother checking my phone. Um, because, you know, I don't know if she's in bed or not. Because sometimes she goes to bed at 9, sometimes she goes to bed at 9.30. 10 o'clock, whatever, you know, and me, I'm a night owl, so I don't even bother checking my phone after that time, because even if she called, I can't call her back, so, anyway, she sounds a little off, so I think I'm going to have to take a run over, so I'm going to go home, I'm on my way home, I'm going to do a video on my haul, her you know she is so sweet to everybody but she can have a dark side she can my mama there's a gentleman who goes around with his walker and he always has bling and feathers boas and little animals kind of an odd little character he is it's just funny 
when we talk about things like that, it's usually because we don't really see it very often. Alrighty, I'm home. I'm home. I've babbled on about nothing. I'm going to see what I can do about getting a film editor. I need to get a film editor. I need to go in the house. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm worried about my mom. Got a lot of things on my mind. Anyway, um, that was the car vlog for today. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll go in, bring all my bags into my bedroom, and do a Dollar Tree haul. A Dollar Tree haul. Oh my god, there was so much more. I spent too much money. Like, almost triple what I usually spend. I am a fool. Alrighty. <laughs> I haven't gone to Dollarama yet, and Dollarama is uh, the place I want to go. The place I want to go, because um, Miss Leah hauled a few things. I want to go and check it out, see if there's anything new. They, you know, if you don't go for a while, and then you go, you see all kinds of new stuff. I'm looking at, sorry, I'm looking at the traffic um, between the houses. I can kind of see the highway from here, and... Uh, Mom was telling me, are you taking the Queen's Way? And I said, no. Oh, well, of course I don't. I take, you know, I go down Ogilvy Road to get home. Um, and she said, well, don't go on the Queen's Way because it's backed up way, way, way because they're up on the eighth floor and they can see the whole highway. And I said, yeah, when I was at my daughter's in Orleans and I was coming back home, they had... Um, and there's a lot of traffic because it's one of the main arteries going out to the suburb and um, they had blocked one lane I guess they were doing some servicing on that side so it was really really backed up and it took like twice as long as usual to get um, home because it usually takes me less than 10 minutes from her house um, and it took me like 20 minutes so anyway I see the traffic is like bumper to bumper on the other side of the highway going out to my daughter's place but um, there's another road that I would ta I wouldn't take the highway I would take another road to go up one of the locals local roads anyway I am babbling see you soon thanks for joining me bye for now <laughs>